15 first alert weather forecast. As we head into Memorial Day tomorrow, things are looking to be in pretty good shape during the morning hours. Certainly some good news for those area parades. We are going to start out the day with sunshine and some clouds starting to mix in. Temperatures going to be rising from the 50s into the 60s. However, towards the afternoon hours, if you have any outdoor plans, that's where you're going to want to pay close attention to radar. Make sure you have our 13 first alert weather app. It has an interactive radar built into it. It has all the tools you need because by tomorrow afternoon, we are going to be tracking cha uh, chances for some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Uh, there's still some uncertainty as to the coverage of those, so that's why I'm saying just keep your guard up and temperatures tomorrow afternoon are going to top out into the upper 60s. Now you'll notice here on our temperature map tonight, we still have a pocket of mild air over the eastern Dakotas into western Minnesota. In fact, these locations today saw quite a bit of sunshine. They're high temperatures, uh, mostly into the low and mid 70s, but that's a different story for us here in Wisconsin where we've had the cloud cover throughout the day. Of course, that rain as well, and that actually held our temperatures back. That high temperature map I showed you at the top of the hour. Most of those actually came during the overnight hours. Throughout the day, our readings have mostly been holding steady into the 50s and low 60s. For tonight, no clear. We are at 58 degrees. A live look from our Nicolay Bank Hastings Way Skycam showing that things are very dry out there. We have a north wind at 6 miles per hour and our pressure at 29.69 inches of mercury. The storm system that did bring those showers today is located over southern Wisconsin. There's some of that lingering rain near the Green Bay area, and this low is going to continue sliding away to the north and east. We do have a weak area of high pressure over across the Great Plains, but not really going to do too much uh, to help us out in terms of our weather. Yes, we are seeing some showers over across the Dakotas, but those are going to continue to fizzle out as they head our way. So for tonight, we're looking at quiet weather, partly cloudy to mostly clear skies. Out the door tomorrow morning, we may start out with just a bit of sunshine, but notice those clouds are quick to increase. And by the afternoon hours, uh, here we are, here we go with some of those scattered showers and a few storms across the area. Those chances are going to take us into the first half of tomorrow night. From there, we do start to dry things out during the overnight hours. We'll have a partly cloudy sky and really Tuesday is going to be a rinse and repeat forecast. We'll have some of that sunshine to start. Clouds start to mix in from there. And by the afternoon, as the trough pivots down from the northwest, yet again, we're going to be tracking chances of some scattered showers that will linger into the first half of Tuesday night. And then those clouds clear out. And that's going to set us up for a beautiful midweek with plenty of sunshine. For tonight's low, we'll fall down to around 47 degrees. Tomorrow, we do make it up to a high of 68. There will be a bit of a breeze out there from the west northwest at 5 to 15 and as far as temperatures go into the first half of this week we're still going to be trending at least a few degrees below average or average high this time of year in eau claire is at 73. notice for the most part we're anywhere from the 60s into the low 70s and as we do give you a sneak peek into the first few days of june here's your first alert that we are tracking near to above average temperatures those chances do start to increase in the latest 8 to 14 day temperature outlook. So we'll certainly see what happens there. Our high temperature uh, for Tuesday is going to reach up to around 64. We're at 71, plenty of sunshine Wednesday by Thursday. On into this first weekend of June, we are going to continue to warm things up, mostly into the mid 70s. And then from Friday into sometime Saturday, there will be a front coming in that could produce a few more showers. It's crazy how fast this year has gone. I can't believe we're almost in June now. It just I know, bye and bye. spring's already just about done. The official start to astronomical summer is June 20th, so that's coming up here in just a couple weeks as well. Time flies when you're having fun, huh? It sure does. <laughs> awesome. Thanks so much, Derek. You got it.